Hello and welcome back to another one of my gameplay videos on Dead by Daylight. Today I'll be playing as the Wraith and today I'll be using Make Your Choice and Dragon's Grip. So the whole point of this build is to have people exposed and since, you know, the Wraith doesn't have an ability to do that outside of perks, I'll be using these two. So Make Your Choice every time someone uh, hooks somebody, the person that did the saving is exposed for 60 seconds and I have to be 32 meters away. Uh, to help with this, I'm putting Windstorm Blood, which tremendously increases the movement speed while cloaked. That plus the, you know, the little buffs to speed that the Wraith got. Uh, I should be going mega fast. And the uh, next one is Dragon's Grip. Every time I kick a generator, well, I can only kick one generator and then I have a cooldown for 80 seconds. Every time I kick a generator, it will be marked for like 30 seconds. And if a survivor touches it within those 30 seconds, they'll scream. I'll see them for four seconds, and then now they're exposed for 60 seconds. It's kind of confusing. And then if I if I kill them, I think if I knock them down, now it has a cooldown of 80 seconds, I think. Or there's just an 80 second cooldown no matter what, even if you don't get it to trigger, which is kind of weird. Uh, I don't use dragon. I'd never use dragon's grip, so I kind of don't know how, like, it's gonna work. But you know no other way to know but now also corrupt intervention pop was a weasel and all seeing blood so that way i can see survivors or as well cloaked within 12 meters of me so kind of close maybe so that way i can if like if the person triggers dragon's grip and then they like yell and then hide i'll be able to find them with the all seeing same with uh make your choice if they save the survive uh, if they save the unhooked person and then they hide and let the unhooked person go um, I'll look for the person that's exposed. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. All right, disturb ward. With windstorm, I should be able to traverse the map so fast I should find somebody quickly. Maybe I should have gone with hex ruin instead. Found some already. She's looking at me. I think she might have dead heart. Oh, she didn't. Did she have dead heart? It looked like she dead hearted right into the thing. Let's see where she run off to. She must have quick and quiet. That was real fast. Alright, now we have our plan in motion. Time to get leave and Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. Okay, I gotta pay attention at the same time. Um, oh, right, someone triggered... Someone also triggered... Uh, uh, make your choice. Okay, Dragon's Grip. I don't think that triggered at all. Unless Felix has... Uh... No, he didn't. It didn't trigger because it's still cooldown. I'm really surprised that he didn't like go up and touch it. Let's go upstairs real quick. Nothing... Nothing. The hell, there's blood right there.
Okay, I think someone else triggered make your choice, but I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, she did have dead heart. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna go to that generator over there. Meg rage quit. Well, not really rage quit. She just let herself die. Oh wait, Fang triggered the thing. Crap, I forgot he had a flashlight. Far enough. Oh. Actually, surprised I didn't hit. He must have balance landing. He doesn't. Why would you? Oh, he had dead heart. Yeah, that Meg really messed him up by quitting. So these two perks, I just realized, uh, Dragon's Grip and Make Your Choice is sort of like uh, anti-objective perks. Because if you touch the generator while it's regressing, something that normally everyone wants to do... Um, I had a feeling he was in there. Uh, you're going to get exposed and Make Your Choice, obviously, if you go rescue someone, you're going to get exposed. So that's kind of it, but except that uh, I think Dragon's Grip needs to be a little bit reworked. Sort of like Make Your Choice, but for generators. I don't know. Maybe make it glow? That would I honestly would like that. But then, you know, it's going to be like, oh, it's Dragon's Grip. <clears throat> but at the same time, it could not be Dragon's Grip. It could be that other one. Uh, the pyramid head one. Ah, that kind of makes sense. That they weren't doing stuff like that. They were uh, um, low rank. 
All right, on. Wait a minute. She had spine chill. Who is this? Yeah, this was the Meg. Yeah, what the heck? She had spine chill and she let me get that closer. All right, on to the next one. All right, Temple of Purgation. A big map, but at least, uh, yeah, I can traverse it pretty fast. There isn't a pallet here, so... Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, I, I could... If I swung through that, I could have got him. I saw a bird fly over there. I think someone's on that damaged generator. I mean, not locked generator, not damaged. Okay, there's no pallet here. When she did that, I thought she was gonna dead hard. All right, now I gotta check the generator super fast. No one here. Where the heck is everyone else? Yeah, I don't think she has dead heart. Dang. I think both Steves must be over there because... That generator went by real fast and I just checked it like, I think 30 seconds ago or something. They must have, uh, oh, what's it called? Prove thyself. Damn it, Steve touched it, but I'm so far away, so I can't I can't be able to get a I won't be able to get the Well he is exposed right now for 60 seconds, so I'll go look for him. Gotta get that value out of that dragon's grip. Crap, I went the wrong way. Let's go back over there. Hopefully it's not a uh, Zarina. Not who I was looking for. Yeah. 
Let's see, maybe uh, Meg will touch it. You know. Wait a second. I thought he, I thought he deliverance, but he, no, he, uh, um, what's it called? Oh, never mind. I'm gonna get Dragon's Grip instead. She has a key. Thank goodness I caught her. One of the Steves is still exposed, so I gotta find him. I'm not gonna make it, actually. So I got Dragon's Brick to actually trigger for once. Damn it. No, he didn't do it. This is the, the Steve that I've never been able to hook, so I'm gonna go after him while I have the chance. Dead hard. Should have figured. Ah! <coughs> ah! Can't hear. Where the heck is he?
Thank God he didn't Kobe. So I was able to get, obviously, make your choice trigger a lot easier than Super Dragon's Grip. But I got Dragon's Grip to trigger once and actually get it to uh, actually get to use it. I think they should bring the cooldown. Have it all be an even 60. Having it be like uh, vulnerable for 30 seconds and then like all this other stuff is like super annoying. Be vulnerable for 60 seconds, have it trigger for 60 seconds, and uh, what's it called? Cooldown for 60 seconds. Having it be triggerable for 30 seconds, exposed for 60 seconds, cooldown for 80 seconds is like super, like, ugh. But yeah, I got it to I got it to trigger once, which was great, and I did it against a, a decent team at least. Uh, I I think there, this guy is from Mexico because the, the name is Beto. That toe, yeah. Inner strength. That was Arena, and this was Meg. Quick and quiet life. Dance with me. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you would be so kind as to like, comment, subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, Dragon's grip is, I guess, decent. But you gotta be like very, you gotta be fast with it, like real fast, like Wraith with uh, Windstorm or Nurse fast to be able to get back, get back and to be able to actually hit the person that's exposed. Um, Blight, I guess, can also use it since he's quick, but if you hit them with your like Blighted, your Lethal Rush or whatever, it doesn't trigger, it doesn't trigger the, the you know, the one hit down because... It, uh, it's a special it's considered a special attack even though it doesn't really make sense because he's still hitting you you know with his lethal rush the same as like the nurse blinking I don't know um so yeah dragon's grip is good but you have to be fast to be able to get back to the survivor and catch him not only that uh there's only a 30 second window so yeah and then the 80 second cooldown really sucks compare that to uh Make your choice, and make your choice is a much better one than uh, Dragon's Grip. So, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Later.